Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how to debug a class library in Visual Studio. So basically, there are two approaches. In first approach, debug directly in that DLL only. And the second approach is how to debug a class library that is called from external app. Suppose we are having a front end or a, a one, uh, uh, we can say a portal in which we want to debug a class library as a backend process. So that is, I think everyone is familiar, like we can attach the process and uh, uh, we can uh, give that DLL reference. So that is quick, easy. And the first approach is also very easy. But sometimes if we are working on a largest project and there are different, different class libraries, if any error occurs or if uh, some uh, we want to check some data. So in that case, we just directly uh, debug that library or the, the Another approach is also there, like we can put the logs uh, if we don't want to debug that. So we can check the logs, but that is quite a, a lengthy process, like you will put the log, then you will uh, run the project and then you will see the logs. And if you want to check that on runtime, so I think this is very helpful solution for you. We can say it's a kind of patch, but yeah, many times we just uh, debug of DLL for our own purpose like what data is going on and what is the error uh, on particular line so in that case we will see how we can debug a, that particular class library directly first of all we will create a new project i will show you so here i am going to create a new project let me close this here create a new project i will select class library over here we will take uh, this one class library shisha dot dll next i just putting the name demo dll debug you can choose your location and source name will be same as uh, we are uh, putting the project name you can choose your target framework i will choose the latest one only then create the project now our dll has been created class library has been created let's suppose this is my class if i just rename this class like uh, testing dll let's suppose so this has been renamed now i have one method over here or uh, let's suppose i am just creating a method public string demo dll and i will just i have put it as a string return type so i will return a string like debug success this is my simplest method let's suppose you have any uh, other methods which are having like database operations and all in your class library so simply we will try to debug this method demo dll so these are the basic steps you have to follow first uh, we have already created a new project now go to the properties and go to the application tab select this project properties click on the application here as we have created a class library so its output type is class library for temporary purpose you can uh, switch it to the console application and just save it now if you will try to debug still it will not allow it will show you uh, that you can't debug directly without a main method see it will show do, show you the build error and here you can see the error like program does not contain a static ma main method suitable for an entry point so as we are aware uh, for any application the main method is the entry point so in this we have to create a new uh, class Any name you can put, I'm just uh, uh, putting a program.cs file. Here, I will create this method public static void main string args. Here, I want to debug this method so. I have to create the object of this class. So I will go to my program.cs. 
टेस्टिंग डी एल एल और बी जे इक्वल टू नाउ वी हैव टू कॉल दैट मेथड सो ओ बी जे डॉट डेमो डी एल एल दैट्स इट नाउ आई विल पुट अ डिबक पॉइंट ओवर हियर जस्ट बिल्ड दी एप्लीकेशन एंड नाउ स्टार्ट डिबगिंग so see your broke breakpoint has been hit here now f10 f11 so it will directly go to into this class library yeah so that is very simplest way to debug a class library in its project itself if your method is not having any dynamic parameter or uh, you don't need to pass any value if there are like simple and you are aware about the parameters value so you can do, do directly like you can pass the value directly over here and you can debug in that way so i hope this solution will help for more detail you can refer this blog i will put uh, this link in my description box and you can also check out this process if you are trying to debug that library from external applications so that's all about this video we'll meet you in the next video with some interesting stuff till that keep learning and keep exploring thanks for watching